Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well today. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your Kepler wallet. Like MetaMask, it's a web browser wallet. So if you wanted to access web applications built by projects on Cosmos, like SwiftChain, Osmosis, Gravity Dex, for the moment, you can only interact with these applications using the Kepler wallet. And given that Osmosis, the first DEX on Cosmos, is offering very robust yields, I figured I'd show you guys how to get started, troubleshoot, and towards the end of the video, I'll even outline some strategies to maximize your returns. And after watching these videos, if you have any inquiries or you just want to join a community of like-minded individuals, I'd strongly recommend that you guys check out my private Discord channel. But even if you're not into Discord at the very least, I recommend that you guys go ahead and give me a follow on Twitter. It's a great way to stay up to date with what I'm doing, get industry highlights, and learn about liquidity mining opportunities ahead of everybody else. Both the links to my Discord channel and my Twitter profile can be found in the description below. Hello. With the intro out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this video. All right, to get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is download the Kepler browser extension. As we head into the next big impulse of this rally, you're going to see a lot of scammers come out. So be careful about where you download these browser extensions and always double check the URLs. To make things a little bit safer and easier for you guys, I'll go ahead and include a link to this web page in the description below. So go ahead and click here on install for Chrome. And once you land on the Chrome web store, click here on add to Chrome to download the extension. Once the download is complete, click on the right on the puzzle piece, scroll down and click on the pin. Once you do that, it should be displayed on your web browser. Then go ahead and click on Kepler. When redirected to this page, you will be prompted with a few options. You can go ahead and sign in with Google, which I don't recommend. You can create a new account, import an existing one, or import your ledger. So we'll go ahead and create a new one. Here you can go ahead and choose to back it up with either 12 words or 24 words. Pick your account name, enter in a password. Before you move on to the next page, make sure you guys go ahead and write down your mnemonic seed phrase. What I like to do is go to a different computer, type it up in a Word document, and then I'll save it into two thumb drives. Once I have the file saved into two thumb drives, then I'll go ahead and delete it from the computer. So once you've written down your seed phrase, then you go ahead and click on next. And here basically they're checking to see if you wrote down your seed phrase. So on this page, you basically just have to rearrange these so they match your seed phrase. Once you do that, you register and then you click here on done. Now, if you click on the extension, you'll see your Atom wallet balance. And at the top here, you can go ahead and select from the various chains. And the unique thing about Cosmos is that despite being one umbrella network, each one of these projects is its own sovereign chain. And the reason why that's important to highlight is that if let's say I go over to Osmosis, all my transaction costs would have to be paid in the Osmo token. So if I come over here to Osmosis, the first DEX on the Cosmos network, since I've downloaded the web extension and I've created my wallet, I can just click here on connect wallet. And by doing that, I'll be signed in. And here, if let's say I wanted to make a trade, I would have to pay the transaction cost in Osmo token and not Atom. So let's say I want to exchange some Atom tokens for Osmo tokens. When I click here on swap, I'll have to approve of a transaction just like I have to do on MetaMask. And since the team knows the only way to secure some Osmo is coming over to Osmosis and doing the exchange, they're allowing users to do zero cost transactions. So all you would have to do to approve of the transaction is click here on low Osmo, click here on prove, your transaction will get submitted. And once executed, you'll see Osmo show up in your wallet. But before you trade your Atom for Osmo, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and deposit your Atom tokens into your Kepler wallet. Then you come over here on Osmosis, click on assets, scroll down, click on deposit. Then you go ahead and proceed to deposit your Atom from your Kepler wallet to the Osmosis protocol. Once it's transferred here, your balance is gonna show on this page. Then you would go ahead and come over here to trade to go ahead and exchange your Atom for Osmos tokens. The nice thing about Kepler is that all the POS tokens that they support, all you need to do to go ahead and stake them is go ahead and click on the token click here on stake 
then you'll go ahead and be re redirected to this page here where you can go ahead and stake those tokens. But just be careful when you guys stake, there is an unbonding period for a lot of these tokens. And so once staked, you'll have to wait about 21 to 28 days to unstake them. In my view, if you have any of these assets, the better move is probably to go ahead and stake your tokens in the pools. They do enforce bonding periods, but it's not anywhere as long as 21 to 28 days. And this works really well if you genuinely have a bullish posture on the market and you think in the next few months we're gonna go up. Because in that setting, you don't mind getting exposure to these tokens because you're not expecting any downside. However, if you're the type that doesn't want to get exposure to volatile assets, none of these pools are going to work for you because at the moment, they don't support any stablecoin pairs. But if you're okay getting exposure to crypto assets and maybe you're already long some of these assets, you could stick your funds into one of these pools. In my view, long-term Atom is probably going to be the base pair for a lot of different assets across all the DEXs on the Cosmos network. And since the Atom token is needed to secure in the entire network all these protocols have a vested interest in making sure that the price of the atom token goes up over time and typically the net result of these liquidity mining opportunities across various chains is that the base pair does extremely well because let's say we see a proliferation in these liquidity mining opportunities across the cosmos network in order to get these robust yields people are forced to buy the atom token so what you could do is pick a token that you're bullish on find a pool where Atom is the base token and provide liquidity into the pool. Unlike Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, and other EVMs, you're not getting your rewards in real time. You're gonna get them once daily. So what you could do as you get these Osmo tokens is redeploy them into other pools to assets maybe you don't have exposure to, but you would like to get exposure to because you're constructing this index portfolio for the Cosmos network. And you're not confined to the Cosmos network, by the way. You could also take a portion of your Osmo tokens and just take them out of the network altogether and put it into fiat. And the way you would do that is take your Osmos tokens, sell them for Atom, withdraw your Atom to an exchange, and sell that for a USDT or another USD peg stablecoin. What I've decided to do is take a portion of the gains that I make and sell them into assets that have been oversold outside the Cosmos network. The rest I go ahead and just deploy into the pools that I'm very bullish on. This way it's almost like I'm creating a yield generating index and also have some cash on the side to buy coins that I feel are extremely oversold. Depending on what your risk tolerance are, what your goals are, what your outlook for the market is, there's a wide variety of strategies you can deploy to maximize your returns from this yield mining opportunity. And these yields are definitely going to get diluted. Number one, market sentiment is super low, so people are reluctant to get exposure to volatile assets. And the fear tends to paralyze people, so they're probably not out there looking for liquidity mining opportunities. Number two, there's not that many pools, so the rewards are concentrated in a few pools versus more pools. And thirdly, I suspect that most people have their Atom token staked and all the tokens that you see here are POS. So it's very likely the people that hold those tokens also have them staked. And it's gonna take about 21 to 28 days for these people to shift over some of their funds into these pools. So because of all of those reasons, you're seeing some very robust rates here. But as soon as we go back to being risk on, people become more active, they add more pools, and individuals who had their token staked are able to withdraw them and deposit them into these pools, we're gonna see significant slashes in these rates. So if you're okay getting exposure to volatile assets, I think it's best to get started early ahead of the herd. And if I'm right and we're headed into the next impulse of the cycle, all the rewards you earn and you deploy back into these pools or you use to dollar cost average into another crypto asset, all of those rewards and assets are likely to be worth more in the future. A lot of my Discord members and patrons were able to get in this day one. If you're interested in following my moves in real time, even if you join the lowest tier I have on Patreon for just $20 a month, not only will you get access to all my private channels where I publish my moves in real time, but you'll also get a free subscription to my paid newsletter. But if you're the type that wants to take your yield farming game to the next level, or maybe you're just the type that wants to expedite your learning so you can go ahead and maximize your returns while these liquidity mining opportunities are hot, you can even sign up for a higher tier on Patreon, which will give you one-on-one -on -one access with me. If you feel like any of the services would benefit in any way, make sure you guys go ahead and click the Patreon link in the description below. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I'll talk to you folks next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,